So far, we've learned how to create and edit posts. In this video, we'll talk about how to organize your posts in WordPress using categories and tags, making it easy for your readers to find the content they're looking for. Before we dig in, it might be helpful to understand what tags and categories are and how they differ. To better understand this, let's take a look at our example site. Every article that you create in WordPress is filed under one or more categories. Categories allow you to organize your posts into topics or groups of related articles so that your visitors can quickly find all the articles within that category or topic. On a news website, examples of categories might be business, entertainment, or sports. We're using the default WordPress theme called 2012, and in this theme, categories are shown in two different places by default. First of all, the categories are listed as links under the Categories widget in our sidebar. Second, all the categories to which a post belongs are displayed directly underneath that post. When someone clicks on one of these category links, an archive page with all the posts belonging to that category will be displayed. So here's the archive page for all the posts within the articles category. And if we click on the company news link, we'll see all the posts within that category. Later in the custom menus video tutorial, I'll show you how to add a link to a specific category within your navigation menu as well, like we saw demonstrated on the news site earlier. The posts categories subpanel is where you add, edit, or delete categories. As we saw earlier, categories may also be added when a new post is being created. To create a new category, simply enter the name of the category. Next, you can either enter a slug, which is the URL or the web address for this category, or leave it blank and WordPress will automatically create one for you. Enter a description if you like, and then click the Add New Category button. Each category may also be assigned a category parent, and this enables you to set up a hierarchy within your category structure. Using our products category as an example, a subcategory might be rocket-powered products. So let's create a new category called rocket-powered, and we'll let WordPress automatically create the slug or the URL for this category. I'll select products as the category parent. This means that any post we create in this category will also be assigned to the products category, enabling folks to find that article in both the products category and our new rocket-powered subcategory. The bulk action menu allows you to delete multiple categories at once, and like the other panels in WordPress, the quick edit function allows us to quickly make changes to a category's name or permalink slug directly within this pane. In addition to being sorted by category, each post you create in WordPress can also be assigned one or more keywords or terms, which we call tags. Think of tags as a one-word summary of your article. Tags enable your visitors to quickly access all of the posts containing a specific tag or keyword. This post has been assigned two tags, rockets and skates. A visitor to our site can click one of these tags and an archive page with all the posts containing that tag will be displayed. While we're on any tag archive page, we can also quickly edit that tag from the toolbar. But you can also edit tags from the tags subpanel. At the top is a tag cloud, which shows a list of all your tags with the most popular tags being displayed in a larger font. Just like categories, Tags can be manually created, edited, or deleted in bulk. And because you'll likely end up with dozens of tags used throughout your site, the search option allows you to find the specific tag that you want to edit or delete. Well, now you know how to sort your posts using categories and tags, making it easier for your visitors to find related content. In our next video, we'll learn how to add and edit pages.